31 days ago, I stopped training. I'm beginning to come to the realization that I screwed up royally, okay? On day reality, <laughs> in bed, supporting all the Instagram live workouts. I can't do any more. Hair looks naff. Well. <clears throat> What is up guys, welcome back to the channel, Nutty Foodie Fitness here. So, long story short, precisely 31 days ago, most gyms in the UK got shot, including mine, and so I stopped training, and funnily enough, I didn't start doing live home workouts, make myself a new workout routine, make my own gym, become an ultra marathon runner, do 329 donkey kicks, or... I stopped training, and this isn't because I lost motivation to train, it's essentially because I enjoy going to the gym and lifting weights, and so as a result of my gym no longer being open. I didn't really feel the need to try and replicate what I normally do at the gym at home. I thought I'll just take a break for a bit. My main reason for training is for enjoyment and I personally didn't feel any kind of excitement to do like body weight exercises at home and I know that obviously you have to make do with what you've got but at the same time I felt like this would be a a great opportunity to just try out something new that I would never have actually otherwise tried. Which is why I then put a question box on my Instagram and let you guys decide what it was that I should practice every single day to potentially become an absolute machine at whatever activity got chosen. And so obviously as you've read from the title that certain thing was push-ups and so that is the only form of exercise that I have been doing for the past 30 days. And so the main reason I ended up putting this video together was because I was essentially receiving many DMs on Instagram and messages regarding anxiety stemmed around no longer having that set routine and so I really wanted to make this video well because it was kind of a no-brainer so I wasn't actually going to train anyway but given I'm a YouTuber and the beauty in YouTube is that you can literally make content from actively not doing something. I'm gonna take this opportunity and create this video and hopefully in doing so eases the anxiety that people are feeling around no longer having that routine. And don't get this twisted, this isn't a video to say look be a couch potato for x amount of months. I'm merely just trying to show that gains aren't lost overnight, that it's okay to relax for a bit, there are bigger things going on right now and if training isn't at the top of your priority list that's fine. I really hope this video helps maybe a little to ease that sense of I have to do 10,000 steps every single day or I have to commit to doing three Instagram live workouts. I mean I'm yet to do one <laughs> and again I'm not saying that I'm never gonna but I want to just get good at things that I've never done before whereas like I know I could do a hundred body weight squats if I wanted. You know? Anyway, I'm talking way too much and I promised myself I would keep this short because you have the whole 30 days of me struggling to do push-ups to look forward to. But I will give you an exclusive right now and tell you that guys, I didn't do exercise for 30 days. Minus 200 push-ups every single day. And guess what? The world didn't end. The world didn't end. <laughs> Take down and emotions feel like I never did before Live shows in the spoken real saw the movie I ignored Blue sky sound a broken sea and I'm stuck up on the shore Thought you could see me Day one, 
let's go. Just about to begin day one of this 30 day very random spontaneous challenge. I asked over on Instagram, I landed on 200 push-ups so I am going to be attempting to do 200 push-ups every single day, see how where that gets me. I will probably become an absolute pro by the end of these 30 days. This is day one, it is currently the 18th of March, Wednesday. Oh, I should probably do a before and after kind of thing, so I'm gonna put you here. Okay, so, and yeah, I'm gonna do this every day, kind of the sa same time after breakfast. I have eaten, I have got the gains in, so excuse my face, okay? All kind of looking a little bit not so fresh these days. So, current physique, if I tense a little bit, we have abdominals. If I don't, well, <laughs> we don't. Um, and then arms. I feel like this is going to be a very interesting challenge because as you know, although I know everyone's going to dispute this in the comment section below, I'm not someone that does bicep curls, bench press, shoulder press, chest press, um, all those kind of things I don't really do. I know I'll probably get stick for it, but as I have said right from the beginning, if do you have pretty good upper body genetics? I feel like everyone hates that word. Um, that was my first ever time I actually curled something. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is I've always been pretty um, muscular upper body wise, and so I reckon that by me doing this every single day, I'm probably gonna make gains and then we can basically all move forward and realize that we don't actually need a gym. <laughs> the starting physique. Okay, anyway, we get the picture. I have some <laughs> games now and then we will see after 30 days doing 200 push-ups. 200 push-ups is a lot. Quite a nutty idea so thanks a lot to you if you're watching. You are the reason I'm about to do this. Let's do it. Put a timer, see how long it takes me to get to 200 push-ups when I do it. So hopefully my time will go down every day or it will go up as I start to get more tired. I don't know, it's all one big experiment, we shall see. I'm just gonna be old school now, I'm gonna write it in my diary. Day one. That's 25 and I'm already questioning why I've decided to do this challenge. <laughs> the timer is still going. Seven. I also haven't recovered from this injury, so cannot put any pressure on this knee. <laughs> okay, that's 50. What I think is I'm not going to record the time it takes me because it's hard. Like, don't know why I kind of thought, oh yeah, 200 push ups <laughs> every day. It will be fine. Clearly not. March the 18th and we are starting the 200 push-up challenge maybe I'll just write it down how long it takes me like that because then we can see the, the progression I'm just gonna carry on dying here on day one and I'll catch you guys tomorrow so it is currently day two we do not have matching socks today but what we do have is a plan of action. So I learned from yesterday and I feel that the best way to approach this going forward is to do sets of at least 25. So from now on, I'm gonna try and not do a set any less than 25, basically. This challenge is encouraging me to actually put some clothes on, literally only put on leggings for the purpose of <laughs> this challenge. <laughs> Woo! Quarantine in full flow. So far, I have done two sets of 25. I am gonna do my third set now, maybe third and fourth set, and then break it up, do another set, another four later on. That's the plan. That's 25. And then repeat. But yeah, already it's day two and I'm already aching. <laughs> Good luck, Steph. Good luck with the other 28 days. Yep. It's currently day three. I'm just about to do my second set with every set. 
it gets harder. Like my arms are now feeling already fatigued and it's only day three. <laughs> That's 50 done today. Another 150 to go. <sighs> it's day four. It's nearly midnight and I've just realized I've still got another 25 push-ups to do. I feel like 30 days is a lot. But we're going to get this done. I'm going to put my chocolate to one side. Done. Day four done, I can go back to eating some chocolate. Since committing to doing sets of 25, I have not dropped. Train like a superhero. I'm going. That lasted nothing. Day, 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 day. She's losing the plot, she's losing the plot. It's currently day five. It's not getting easier. It's not getting easier. Don't have a hairband because they, they just disappear. I don't even know how, where. <sighs> I've literally just been doing this to make sure that I keep count of every set I do. I'm hoping that soon, maybe tomorrow, I'll try and see if I can do a set, maybe a set of 30 or a set of 35. Because so far, there's no improvement. Although it's only day five. Relax girl, you've got 25 more days of this. <laughs> Why? Why? Before this pandemic started, my training sessions were roughly around 42-ish minutes. I just feel like 45 is too much, 40 is too little, 42-ish minutes. On average, three-ish times a week, sometimes more, sometimes less. Just really dependent on what I'm doing and how busy I am and if I'm feeling to go. I've never put pressure on myself to train. I go because I enjoy it and so that's why I've, I've been really consistent since I joined the gym. But that said, to give you context, I have taken a number of breaks since I did begin training which is now three and a half years ago. Like I never train on holiday, completely chill and so I know how hard it must be for people that struggle even to take rest days to then kind of just take a step back at the moment. Random physique update. I think this was around day 10. I just thought I'd do a physique update just before doing an intro to another video. Guys, who is ready for reality? <laughs> I'm just in bed with my chocolate. Watching Instagram live workouts like, go on girl, do it for the both of us. <laughs> I'm just here to support. Oh, I'm just Thanks here to support, it. okay? Honestly, sarcasm aside, I think it is really cool that everyone is kind of helping each other and showing ways that you can still stay active whilst at home. Props to all of you. I just thought I'd give you guys an update. Um, it is currently, what day is it? What day is it? I have no idea. Day 15. And I know that everyone's looking at me, judging me massively right now. I mean, I'm, I'm thinking of starting a series of trying to cook with natural oils. <laughs> That's disgusting, but honestly, I feel like I could fry an egg on this hair. It's, it's gonna be washed. Calm down, it's gonna be washed soon. <laughs> Let's do a set. I'm telling you now though, every, well, every day, I feel like every single time I update you, I say exactly the same thing. That it's not getting any easier. Do you see what I mean, guys? <laughs> We're now halfway through this challenge. 15 more days to go. We've got this. But actually, I was thinking the other day that by not having any equipment at home, this is really gonna show just how much, or if anything, like you can maintain muscle by just doing push-ups. I don't even know if I'm actually gonna get any better. So push-up update. I'm beginning to come to the realization that doing push-ups gives you gains. So, arms at the moment. <laughs> I 
I'm guessing it's not going to give me any back gains, but the buys are out in full force. We're still doing sets of 25. I managed to do a set of 30. I am going to try and do a set of 35. In fact, let's do it now. Let's try. Woo. I did it. So that was a set of 35 that I must log immediately. Oh my. <laughs> That's it for now. Bye. Yep, my friends, this is the point I realised it was quarter to one and yet I was watching Justin Bieber do an Instagram live while spooning an entire jar of nut butter as well as eating chocolate cookies. Just to note, I did end up doing my final set of push-ups past 2am that day. Another thing I just want to mention is that food is fuel and you should fuel your body correctly given this challenge didn't require a lot of training and just a lot of push-ups. I really just want to hammer the fact that my diet did not change whatsoever. I did not eat any less than I would on a normal basis if I were going to the gym. In fact, I probably snacked more given I was spending every single day sat at home editing, making content. How cute are these? All the snacks on snacks on snacks on snacks. Chocolate fudge cupcakes. What are you saying? Update on the push up challenge. It's currently day 22. I am going to put my hands up and tell you that yesterday I failed to do the final 25. However, I am going to make up for it. Also, wanted to highlight. Don't know why I'm talking so like seriously. Let you guys know that I did film a kick kickboxing workout it was a 15 minute workout no weights basically kicking so you can see that on my instagram that wasn't a way for me to plug but if you want to know what the session consisted of it's nutty foodie fitness but yeah i just wanted to as a little disclaimer because i know that the title is going to be i did nothing but 200 push-ups every single day for 30 days and so i wanted to let you guys know so 225 push-ups to do today Woohoo! I mean, I feel like I don't really need to do push-ups on camera for you to, to know that I'm doing them because obviously I am doing them. Well, I am doing them, okay guys? Progress! Oh, wait. Is that like more chest separation? I don't know. These are my arms. I did shave today. This is physique on day 22. I mean, I don't suppose my back is gonna look any more any different if anything it's just gonna be the upper body I honestly thought that by now my push-ups would be getting better but I just find that like sets of 25 like I'm done I'm gonna do a set now and see how many I can do I'm resting you on my taco slippers right now uh, I can't do any more that was 25 I just feel like it's because I'm fatigued from doing them every single day. And that 25 didn't even contribute to today's 200. <laughs> no progress. Good morning, good morning. Just to point out <laughs> that yesterday I screwed up. I screwed up royally, okay? I only managed 100 yesterday, which means today day 24 I am gonna have to make up for it I've got 300 push-ups to do today 300 <laughs> wow okay let's uh let's get into a set shall we it's currently day 27 of 30 ah we're so close I've just posted this photo literally four minutes ago so I said let's play a game obviously fake news because I'm at home I'm not in the gym and I wrote that there's nine things that I want to challenge myself um, in the coming months. So like nail a handstand, smash a PB, smash pistol squats, skip consecutively for 27, rest for X amount of days, sleep a minimum of X hours a night for a week, meditate for 22 minutes, do the splits or draw paint a masterpiece. And I said obviously there's one here that I'm so close to, to achieving being 30 days, no gym, no training, obviously minus the push-ups but 
that's what I'm alluding to. And I said that the first person to get this right will get a shout out. Um, I can actually reveal. Yes. <laughs> Isabel Brown. Isabel Brown is the first person to get this right. Gonna like that comment. In fact, I need to like them all, otherwise it's gonna be obvious. Day 27, I, I really, <laughs> I can't wait to finish this challenge because the push-ups are just getting, they're getting a lot. And from this, I can fully tell you how important recovery is. Yes, I'm not doing any weight training. I'm not doing any other training, but the fact that I'm not resting, like every single day I have to do push-ups. Like my body needs a rest. Do you know what I mean? I don't want to do any more push-ups. Like, obviously we're nearly at the end of this and I can't say my push-ups have improved at all. Like, maybe if I revisit this with rest, it'd be interesting to see how many I could actually do. But right now, like, 25 is like the max I can actually do just because my body's like, Stop! Stop making me do push-ups! Also, just on that note of that post, do let me know which challenge I should attempt next. Day 29 of 30. Updates. No push-ups yet. Turning, pretty much turning into a cookie. Yeah. <laughs> cookie obsession, going strong. Yeah, really getting in those steps, smashing those steps out. We sadly came to an end of the matcha white chocolate lint. You know what they say, all good things come to an end. However, we got reinforcements, my friends. <laughs> this is the situation, but she washed her hair. Come to conclude that I haven't mastered the push-up. I'm just thinking anything else worth mentioning. Oh yeah, that these matcha Kit Kats, just, they don't get old. And this is the reality, guys. Every single time somebody asks me for home workout routines and advice on Instagram. <laughs> it's day 30. My camera's about to die, but I'm about to do set one of my final day. <laughs> this challenge has been going on forever. Okay, let's get it. I don't know why I'm so excited. In fact, I do know why I'm so excited. Because this is the final day. I don't have to do 200 push-ups <laughs> anymore after today. It's funny, I just had a conversation with someone in the DMs who asked me for like the millionth trillionth time for my home workout guide. <laughs> Can people stop asking me for home workouts because I have not done a home workout? <laughs> or like routines. And I told them I haven't actually been doing home workouts. Gave them an exclusive that I'm filming this video and that today is day 30. Their response was, oh my God, you must be buzzing for this to finish. Like I can't imagine how hard it is for you. And I was like, no. I'm really not fast because as I always say, I train because I enjoy it. And the idea of just doing body weight stuff doesn't necessarily excite me, which is why I was always gonna be resting. All right. <laughs> Twenty five done. You know, whilst editing this video, I have realised that I have been pretty hard on myself because I say I haven't improved, but if you think about it, my first twenty five right at the beginning of this video thirty days ago, that was hard. You know, that was tough. Like obviously, I'm not buzzing after doing twenty five push ups right now, but at the same time, I'm not like, uh, you know. So. Maybe I have improved a bit, but not a pro. <laughs> Guys, did you just hear that? Did you hear that sound? That, my friends, is the sound of day 30. Out of 30! <laughs> she only went and done it. Cheers. <laughs> to another nutty... <laughs> Although to be fair, I don't really know why <laughs> I'm encouraging the fact that we've just done a challenge of, you know, 30 days of not doing home workout things. But, yeah. 
<laughs> celebrate those little wins. Okay, guys, but low key, I've got three more sets to do. <laughs> guys, I'm just about to do my final set of this challenge. I have a big bowl of food waiting for me, ready, but I'm gonna just get this done now. Oh, I've done it! Challenge complete! 30 days done. I can now eat my dinner. I just did them with that in shot. We did it. Can I get a round of applause? <laughs> and that was that. <laughs> I did it! Woo! So yeah, guys, as you saw, I did successfully do 200 push-ups every single day for 30 days. No other gym training, gym training, no other training, um, just, just the push-ups and sadly I didn't become a professional. I had all these dreams of being able to maybe do like 100 push-ups in, in one sitting, clearly not. But that's okay, we live and we learn and... I know, now I'll never do a push-up again. <laughs> with all that said, I don't think I actually became a potato. So this is my physique now. Let's just do a physique update because I did one at the beginning. Tensing. And relax. Relax. Well, it looks like I didn't lose my abs. <laughs> Guys, apologies. I was going to do a side-by-side -side comparison, but... <laughs> but clearly too wedged now to fit both physiques on the screen, but... If you just look at the bottom left, I've included whether it's day one or day 30. I don't know, this is me after. <laughs> I don't know, did I become more wedge? Let me know in the comments down below. I do actually think I have more like chest separation and I don't know, I, f I feel like my biceps did potentially grow. Things are harder than push-ups. I don't know if I made gains, but I definitely didn't lose muscle, muscle mass. It didn't disappear. Guys, I really do hope that you have enjoyed this video. I know it's a different video, actively not doing something and then making a YouTube video. But hey, this is the world we live in. We must seize every opportunity. I hope that it potentially helps some of you that may feel a little anxious at the moment regarding not having a new lockdown ISO routine and that it's okay. It's okay to just focus on something else and if training isn't your motivation right now, it's fine. I'm not saying be a potato, don't do anything. That is not what I am promoting because obviously I want us all to be fit and healthy physically as well as mentally so make sure that you're still moving your body in some way whether it's going for a walk i know that each country has different regulations in the uk we are allowed out for one form of exercise every single day so i have been walking and listening to podcasts but there's other ways put on some music and do some zumba dance in your room i mean you've seen me <laughs> You've definitely seen me doing that. Just don't feel pressured to follow along just like everyone else for the sake of it because that personally defeats the whole point of fitness for me. I personally find fitness as an escape. Release the endorphins, not think about the 97 other things that you have to do that day but just to kind of like zone out and it's like a, just a time for yourself. Find a thing that you want to master or get better at. Try something different. Social media seems to kind of make people think that they have to do 333 burpees followed by 456, did you like that little step there? Jump squats. If that's what you want to do, fab. But if it's not, then don't do it because if you enjoy what you do, you'll be consistent and therefore you will make the gains. I hope this has helped or at least entertained you guys, especially given the fact um, I'm not a pro push-upper. But as I said, I hope all my attempts at push-ups highlights the fact that rest and recovery is needed. She says after not doing anything else for 30 days. I hope that highlights just how important recovery and rest is because I have not given my upper body a rest. I reckon if I were to revisit this, 
and just do a set of push-ups, maybe in a week's time, I could guarantee that I'd probably reach a max amount of push-ups that I've like ever done. I might actually put that on my story. I guess 30 days is now up and it's time for a new challenge. I really do want to kind of get through that list. Curious to see if I could potentially master a pistol squat, like they seem really really difficult. And also a handstand, like I've never done a handstand. Probably bit break all my bones, but I really want to use this time to to learn something new and get good, or at least try to get good at something that I wouldn't have otherwise done before had we not been in a situation such as this one. Let me know which one you believe I should do next, whether I should film it, shall I make this a, a thing? Thank you so much for watching, and I guess I'll now be asked what my plans are moving forward. Home workouts. I'll find a way to, of course, keep active. I do just want to point out that Soon I'm going to be filming some sponsored fitness content. Woohoo! Guys, gotta get that paper somehow. Stay tuned for those. I will be putting those on Instagram soon. It depends. I'm kind of waiting on Sports Direct to send me some equipment, of which I have no idea what it's actually going to be, but whatever it is, you, I guess you'll see in the video. And just to highlight, guys, throughout these 30 days, I did not at all change the way in which I eat. I know that there's a lot of information going around of like restrict, like whoa, cut out breakfast, cut out lunch, cut out dinner. I ate exactly as I would. My usual eating, I know that food equals fuel, but at the same time, make sure that you are still eating properly. There is no need to change your diet just because you don't have access to a gym. I changed nothing and Slight disclaimer. Obviously, all our bodies are entirely different, and I say this in every video, and I just wanted to point this out because I'm not saying that if everyone were to do exactly the same thing, they would get the same results. Because they wouldn't. Our bodies respond to exercise, food, training in completely different ways. We all have completely different routines, and I don't know, you might be used to doing hours of cardio a day, whereas I used to do weights. And so, just just a little disclaimer because <laughs> this is a point that I make in, in every video and yet people will still come back with the same If I were to do that, um, then, um, I wouldn't look like that But yes, in general my point is not having a routine for a couple of months We're, we're gonna be okay. We are gonna be okay. You don't make gains in one day, you're not going to lose them overnight either. And muscle memory also it does exist, so... <sighs> so that's it guys, I hope you've enjoyed it. I think that's it. Thanks for watching. Stay safe, and stay nutty my friends. No more push-ups ever, ever, ever again. I should have had my hair down, shouldn't I? Oh hi, I didn't see you there. Sorry, that was terrible. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you really enjoyed it. If you did, please smash the thumbs up button. Uh, it really helps. And think about subscribing if you haven't already. You just need to turn notifications on. Sorry, I'm literally just eyeing up the peanut butter balls next to you guys. Focus, Steph. Now, you know what? I'm just gonna go in. I literally can't. 9.74 out of 10. So good. I do need to make a confession though. I'm wearing active wear and I haven't done a workout. Oh my god, I almost forgot. Please, please stay nutty my friends and stay safe. That's it. Okay, bye!